All right. All right, thank you. Anybody want to come up? Uh, yeah. Everyone does. I actually had this already. Randy? Oh, no coffee. Yeah, no coffee. All right, so um, I'm going to make a quick uh, executive, or I made it, I already made an executive decision. We're just going to go back uh, just a little bit real quick uh, because the time I explain the sheet does, it'll probably just be easy if I read the Gemara. So let's just go back to the Gemara uh, on the bottom of Men Pest on base. Today is Dachnun. So it says over there, Tan Rabbanon. So just uh, starting from the beginning, the Gemara says, "Hachay for Bor b'shus a Yachid, a Pasul b'shus a Rabbim, a Kai." Is there a Bor Haram Rebbeitayr? Even Rabbi Shmuel. So it says over here, Rabbi Shmuel, that he go ahead and dig a pit b'shus a Yachid, open up b'shus a Rabbim, your Chayiv, and that's the, the that's the the Bor that's mentioned in the Torah. Kibay Mir Hivke Rishuso, Velo Hivke Bor Zeh Bor Haram Rebbeitayr. So uh, Rabbi Kiva seems to say, right, that it's a uh, no, that we're talking about a Bor. Bereshusa Yachid and not a Bor Bereshusa Rab. That that other one was open to Bereshusa Rab, and this one remains in Bereshusa Yachid. As it says, Amar Raba. Uh, so now this is going to be Raba. We're going to have Raba, and then uh, and then we're going to have Rabbi Yosef in the previous on the next page. So Amar Raba, the Bor Bereshusa Rab and Kolei Amalei Pligi the Mechayev. That when it comes to a board, which is a rabbi, the person goes in, dig, everyone agrees that that's your chai. My time, our cup also says, Kiev tafachi. When you go ahead and you open and you dig, so you might have psicha chai, valkila koshkin, the chai for, for, for opening a, a, a previously dug, certainly be chai for something that, that you dig. Elish al iske psicha, val iske korea a baralo. Balo. In other words, a writer is just coming to tell you that even for uh, uh, matters of opening or matters of digging, that comes to you. So, in other words, in this case, even if it's what a boar and she's a rabbim, like nechluku. So, what are the arguments? Ella, the boar bershuso. We're talking about a boar bershuso. Am I muted? No, I don't know what's going on. No, I'm not muted. I'm fine. Okay. Um, so, in this case, uh, it says, uh, so when it comes to born zones, Rabbi Kiva, Savar, Bor Bashuso, Nami, Sib. So, according to Rabbi Kiva, right, your Chai for, as we all said, Kuleyam agrees, Bor Bashuso Rabbim, and also Bershuso. Because the Pasik says, Baal Habor, he's the legend of Baal Habor, meaning even one that he had Rashusa Yach, and then you, uh, you know, you remafter the area around it so people can walk by. So, before the Isle Baal, come on, Rahman, Rabbi Shmal, Savar, Baal, what does it mean? And, words, and, and therefore, and Rabbi Shmuel said, "No, Baal Hatakala. You know, he means he owns the pit. But really, he owns. You know, that he 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 owns the rights, not the rights of the pit, but the, any sort of liability, right? He, he's he's owner of the liability towards the pit. That's what it is. But not that he physically owns it. It has to be a bor b'shus rabbi, according to Rabbi Shmuel, the fee rabbi. Ella ma zel bor amavatar. What do you mean that when he says zel bor amavatar? The kama Rabbi Kiva." Zelbor, right? It says over there, Zelbor, Shepasach Ba'akasav, Tchilo the Tashlumen, right? This is the first one that it starts off with in terms of talking about payment, right? When it comes to talking about payment, it says, Baal, ha, uh, uh, Baal Habor Yishalim. So it doesn't mean that's the only case that the Torah is referencing. It just means that it talks about it first. So that was the sheet of Rabba. Now comes Rabbi Yasef, Babor B'Shusha Yachid, Kuli Amalei, Pligi Demichai. No, no, no. Not what you said before. There's a machlekes that b'shusa yachid. Rather, everyone agrees that the bor b'shusa yachid kuli amali pligi to b'chayi. My time. What's the reason? Balabor. I'm going to the Torah says balabor. The bor these say bal. The one has owners. I but the person dug his own in his own property. There was mafia here. That's it. So keep pligi. Went to the argi. But bor b'shusa rabim. A pin b'shusa rabim. Rabbi Shmuel sever bor b'shusa rabim nami chayi. Rabbi Shmuel says no. You're also chayi for that. The chassid the pasuk says kiyiftach. Right when he goes ahead, he opens or he digs. Right, if he's high for for opening, as soon as he's high for digging, rather, so any matters of opening and uh, digging that it, uh, that uh, goes ahead and comes to teach, and even in uh, uh, and even in uh, the four pushes comes to teach it. Rabbi Kiva, what do you say? No, Hanu He actually those both those terms are actually needed. Why? Because of Rachmana Kiyiftach, if it's just a Kiyiftach when you open it, have a mina pasechu the sagile bekisui, right? In other words, maybe I would have thought that opening it, and I was so if I go ahead and open it, then I can go ahead and just close it. However, kaira, but if I go ahead and dig it, 
maybe losagale bekisui at the time like maybe it, maybe just covering it is not good enough. I have to fill it back in. So therefore, it comes to teach you extra. And I was, I would have just thought, right, that uh, you know, if I dug a pit, you know, it's the same way I have to recover something that I uncovered. So too, if I dug something, I have to fill it up. Really, that's not the case. It comes to teach you that if I dig a pit and I cover it, it'll be sufficient. Because of Akmana Kiev, I would just said he dug I mean, I would have thought Kriu the boy Kisui Mishum Dav Maisa. Maybe uh, uh, in the case of digging, then I have to cover it because I did a mice of digging of Alpaseh, but just opening it to lay of a mice. I didnn't dig a pit. I do a mice. Aim a kisui nami lay boy. Maybe I don't even have to cover it because I just uncovered it. So I differ. I may have to. So Kamash Lan, that you have to go ahead and recover it. Covering it is required uh, in both and is sufficient in both. The Ella, if that's the case, my what does it mean when it says Zeobor Amr What does it mean when Zeobor the the cover of Ishmael? What does Rabbi Shmuel mean when he says that Zeobor Akasa Tchila the Nazikin? Right, that's the the uh, in other words that comes to tell you the first pasuk of, of damage. Right, the pasuk over there says actually you find pasuk Lama Gimel is the pasuk before it says Ah the Kiyiftach Ish Bor over there when he opens a pit. That is referring to Erishu Sarabim. So therefore, that's not the only case that Torah is talking about. Rather, it's coming, that's the first case that Torah is talking about when it comes to damages, because the first Pasuk, Pasuk Lama Gibel, says when a person you know opens a pit and causes damage, and then the next Pasuk Lama Dao is talking about payment, and that talks about the Balabor is the one who pays. Fine. Now, we're going to ask a couple kashas on this, uh, uh, this interpretation of Rav Yosef. So, may say, Potter, one who goes ahead and he digs a pit in the Shusarab and then he opens it up into the Shusayachid, right, through his issues, all right, in other words, in his issues, he is Potter, right, even though he allows people to walk by. Nevertheless, he's Potter, right? Even though you shouldn't do it, why? Right, because you shouldn't go ahead and make some sort of uh, space underneath. Uh, potential hazard uh, around the Shusarabim, and therefore you shouldn't do it. So that was case A, that you're putter. So over here is a case of when he, he dug one in Shusarabim, and he opened it through the Shusayachid. But if, if he goes in and digs in Shusayachid, right, the other one he, was, he dug in Shusayachid, if he digs this one in Shusayachid, and then he opens up through the Shusarabim, then he is Chayef. And by the way, even let's say you go ahead and you dig Right, a, a pit right, on your property, but close to the Rishus Rabbim. Mm-hmm. Like those people used to go ahead and dig for the foundations of their homes. They are putter. They are putter in such a case. They allowed a special case, allowed to go ahead and do it for Lushin for their homes. The Rabbi Yisrael, Rabbi Yudah Bachayim, Adshi Yasim Mechitz Asa. No, you can't just dig it over there. You have to go ahead and put up a wall. Or Adshi Yarchi Malcolm Jesus Ragli Adam Malcolm Jesus Ragli Behema Arba Arba Tfachim. Or you have to make at least four Tfachim away for a place where people or animals walk. Now, let's look at the, let's look at this price. Let's analyze it. So, Tom, a delusion. The reason why your putter, if you go ahead and you dig it, you know, it's in your property open to the other is for the for you know, the special head to have made for the, the foundation of the house. A lot of lushin. But if it wasn't for that, you just dug one in your property, then you would be chayiv. Right, then you would be chayiv such a case. So the first case of the brisa says, right, your putter, right, mm-hmm. the, the, if it opens those shoes, the, your uh, putter. And this is, you go ahead and you dig in your property, and it, it's open to the rabbi, and you're chayv. So, be shlomo the rabbi, according to the first interpretation that we started off with today, Reisha rabbi shmuel. So, the Reisha, where he says he is potter, um, and I was talking about, according to rabbi shmuel, who holds that if one ever digs into the rabbi, he's potter, right? Only it was just, uh, in the Rishas of Yaki, he's chayv. So, therefore, be shlomo the rabbi, dama reisha, rabbi shmuel, the savior, rabbi kiva. And the savior could be rabbi kiva. Right, the Savior Rabbi Kiva says he would be Chai. El Rav Yasef, according to Rav Yasef, so be Shlomo Seif Divri Akol. It could be everyone, in other words, this case, where he's Chai. El Arisha, but according to the Risha, where he says uh, he's Pater, if he dug a Shusarabim, according to Rav Yosef, Lo Rav Yishol Rav Yakiva, he said that Kuli Alma agrees that if you go ahead and dig in the Shusarabim, then you'd be Chai, right? Uh, right. Uh, all right. Uh, you, know, you, you should be chayv in that case. Over here, it says it says he's potter. So Rav Yosef, no, kula divrei hakolhi. So even Rav Yosef can say no. It's all divrei. Kol reisha shalahivkir lo shusuf labar. And the reisha, the reason why 
he is potter. Really, if he was mafkir, he'd be high. But over here, the reason why he's potter is because he's never made his his backyard uh, hefker. And therefore, it, because if, 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 and if the opening is there, then he could say, well, what are you doing in my yard that you got damaged? Since you were trespassing, therefore, I'm not obligated. And I'm Rav Ashi, and Rav Ashi says, now, Hasha, do keep the Rav Yesa, Divya Kol, I say Rav Yesa, Divya Kol, referring to a specific case of where he was a mafkir, is Chatzir, the Rabbi Nami. But I think about Kitana, even according to Rabbi, you can say, that's not as a machlokas tonight. says, may the ratio, Rabbi Shalom, the fact that the ratio who says he's potter, when he digs it in, it was just a yachid. In that case, also save a Nami, Rabbi Shalom, save is also Rabbi Shalom. So, ah, that's the case with Tom Deluj. And the reason why is, He's high illusion, but he's part of illusion. The time of illusion, all of illusion, chayev. And so, why? When would be chayev in that case? To go on the aviach, aruchah illusion sarab. All right. Now we're going to talk about a case of where he widened and he didn't just widen and it's close. Now he widened the foundations and it's it's, it's sticking out into the shus rabim. So therefore, it's like he had it in the dug in the shus rabim, and therefore, even according to Rabbi Shmuel, he would be chayev in such a case. Meisvei. That's another kasha once again on Rav Yosef, very similar brisa to what we just said. Hachayfer bor b'shus hayachid, but it's going to be a little bit absent. Habor bor b'shus hayachid. If he goes out and he digs it in the b'shus hayachid, upasko b'shus harabim. He opens up into the b'shus harabim. So the first case is chayiv. He is chayiv in such a case because he dug b'shus hayachid, even his own. And b'shus hayachid, a smuggler b'shus harabim. Potter, but if he goes ahead and he digs the b'shus hayachid that's close to the b'shus harabim, right? Then he is uh, uh, he is potter in this case. Um, in other words, that uh, it was uh, it was in the middle of his property, and then afterwards he was mafkin the property around. So be shlomo the rabba according to rabba. So what's the machlok is there? Why is one case chayv, one case potter? Right. So be shlomo the rabba. Well, we can say that kula rabbi shmeli. That is all according to rabbi shmel. In other words, a person that if he goes ahead, if he digs it in public, right? The pasuk is right. It's like he dug it in public, and therefore he's chayv. But if he goes ahead and digs it in private in his own shusha uh, yachid. Then he's potter, so therefore we can say this is all the opinion of Rabbi Shmuel. El Rav Yisef, according to Rabbi Yisef, Sabish Lama Reisha, Rabbi Shmuel. You can say according to Reisha that he be five, even because the board should wrap him according to Rabbi Shmuel. El Seifa, but when the Seifa says in the Rishus Yachid, right, that he's potter, right, Lo Rabbi Shmuel, Lo Rabbi Kiva. It's not either one because he said Kuleyama holds in the case of Rishus Yachid, you would be a uh, chayiv, right? That's the because it says you know Balabor. So it says, no, over here we're talking about where he, the reason why he's potter is because he did it for the foundation. It was a special head that they had from the foundation of the house. And even though that basically was dug open to the Rishus Rabbim, therefore, since it was done, uh, uh, since he did it on his own private property, therefore he'd be potter in that specific case. Fine. Tan Rabban. Gets a little easier now. Chavir Pasach, Umasa, the Rabbim. One who goes ahead, he digs a pit and he opens up and he gives over the rabbi. You guys use it for you know for 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 water. Then he is putter from any liability. Chafer pasach v'loy muscle. Remember, if he let's say he dug a pit, let's say to water, and then he didn't go ahead and give to the rabbi. Then he's chayiv. V'chayim min hago shall nechunya chayiv baras. And this is the minog of nechunya who used to go ahead and dig pits for the uh, for the shachayiv baras shikin baras. He used to go ahead and dig it for the public shachayiv chayiver. You go ahead and open it up and get. And, Making the water hole so nice the rabbi, give it all the, the people who, who were uh, to the multitudes. Oh. And when they heard this matter, uh, right? He he kept this halacha, right? And I was he did this. So where it says halacha zu he, he what he didn't do other halachas, he didn't keep other mitzvahs. Even this mitzvah uh Nechunia did. He was a big tzad. So tell about him. The one time there was a mice that his daughter fell into a pit. So they told Rabbi Chinim and Daisa, he, he, he didn't do anything. Shalom, he said, okay, first, you know, they asked him, he said, Shalom. All right, then he said, Shalom again. And the next time, the third hour, they came, also, she already got out of the pit. Uh, so they said to her, who, who took you out? Right? There was a certain uh, um, uh, older man, right? Some say Avram Avinu, the image of Avram Avinu, who came along and basically out. He was he was with a uh, right a, 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 a ram, right? And he was walking by and he helped me out. So they said back to the Chinam Daisa, "Hi, Naviata, are you a Navi? How'd you know she got out?" 
Right, something that he goes ahead and does, right, and then slaves over and 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 and, and, and he puts a lot of effort into, i.e., digging pits for the public, doing a big mitzvah, so his own daughter should, you know, uh, you know, should die in such a way of falling in a pit. However, nevertheless, his his son died, uh, I guess, in a in, in a famine, right, in thirst. Mm-hmm. Because not, not enough water, even though he provided water for the multitude. Shemaya Pazik says, Basiva Nisham of so it says that those around him, right? Those who are around uh, Hashem, you know, are you know extremely everything is extremely sensitive. In other words, uh, and what does that mean? Some Alamish Akash Barakum and Daki Yim Sivoy uh Siviva of Afilam Kikudasar. Those who are close to Akash Barakhu, Akash Barakhu is that much more meticulous in uh, you know for 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 Skarhatter for those people. And Omar, so a couple more sources in uh, um, so in Omar, Mehach, from this passage, same thought. Al Naras beside Kedoshim Rabbah and Noira calls Sivivav. It says, but Noira calls Sivivav that those who are close, right? His uh, his, his presence will and his awesomeness will be even around that much more, you know, uh, uh um, you know, concentrating on the, the specific specificity of his actions. And every can even call him a Kadosh Baruch Hu, each other, says, Kadosh Baruch really doesn't care. Uh, uh, who Yaisir Chayev Hakadosh Baruch Hu will like you know if he doesn't care about Averus what I do then Hakadosh Baruch Hu will not care about will not care about his life. Shnamar Hatzor Tami Palo Ki Kol Derachav Mishpat right that uh, you know that uh, his uh, everything is is complete all his, his works are complete and uh, all of his ways are uh, are justice. And Amar Rav Chana V'Timur Rav Shmuel Bar Nachmani My Dechsiv Was the Pasuk Mein. Erech Apayim. It says Erech Apayim. Like you see, Erech Af. It doesn't say Erech. So Erech Apayim. That's an equal shayim. It means that uh, he's slow to 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 you know to 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 uh, uh, to wait for people to tzaddikim for them to get their true reward in the world to come. So he waits until they get the world to come. And, and Rishayim, they don't get the punishment in this world. Rather, they also they wait until they punish in the world to come. And Tanur Rabbanu Lo Yisai Kol Adam Rishusai the Rishusai Rabbim push him not go ahead and clear the stones out from his Rishus and Rishusai Rabbim is a mice about them. I chal Shoyim Masakil Rishus Rishusai Rabbim. One time was a mice. The person was clearing out the stones from his house into the Rishusai Rabbim. Well, Matzah Chas Zedek had a one that uh, uh, apparently uh, uh, a pious individual. Amar La Reka, empty man, empty one. We pnei Adam Masakil Rishus Shein Shachal Rishus Shachal. Why are you clearing out stones? From a property that's not yours into your house, right? Into your property. So Lagleg love. So he sort of mocked him. Didn't like, what is this saying? He's out of his mind. I'm just taking stones out of my house. So he lay him. It was it wasn't too many days. And Nitzach Limkor said, "Hey, this guy needs to go ahead and sell all his properties." By a Mahalik, by a Now he was basically homeless, and he was on the Shusharabim. The Nikshal be about it. Then he tripped over those stones. So it turns out now. He couldn't go in his old property where he cleared out because he had he had sold it, and his only property now was Rosh Hashanah, and therefore he hit, he tripped over the stones. Amar Yaka Amar Li. It was actually he was it was like a nevua. So Chassid Chassid said, "Mikne Ma'ato Misakel Mishul Shein and Shachal Mishul Shachal." Right? Why are you clearing stones and stuff that's not yours into property that's yours? Fine. Next Mishnah. Nay Mishnah Hachayfer Bar Rosh Hashanah. The Nafal Asaycho Shor Racham. So one goes out and digs a pit in a rabbin, and an animal falls in there, sure, a, a an ox or a donkey, chayv, he is chayv to pay. Right? Whether it's all these different types of uh, uh, holes, we'll soon see in the Gemara, we'll define each one of these, why these are, why these are said. All these cases, he is chayv for creating this hazard in the public. Absorbing a um, is something new. Uh, well, uh, into a bore that you're well, well, I think it's brought for this, this next halach, right? See, K. Lamin Elar Bor. Why does it say pit? If there's all these different types of pits, right? Pit and cistern and tomb and all that, right? So Ma Bor Sheishbo Kadei Lahamis Asar Tfachim. I call Sheishbo Kadei Lahamis Asar Tfachim. In other words, when you chay for killing the animal, you're chayiv. In other words, it has to be a, a pit that's able to go ahead and kill. What is that? That's a fall of ten tefachim. So to anything, so all these things have to be ten tefachim. Let's say it was less than ten tefachim. And then the animal die, it falls in there and dies. He's putter. 
then he is potter because they shouldn't have died. Bim Huzak, however, if he if it just got damaged, then the Huzak Bo Chayef, then he is Chayef. Okay. Half, half, yeah, that, that, that would be that. If it got damaged that way, if it was normal, right, because it's not abnormal. So let's see the Gemara. Even less than 10? Even less than 10, you're right. So if it's 10 or more, then you're high if, for, yeah. I guess, uh, for death and uh, if it gets injured, it doesn't die, but uh, you know, most likely it will die. But if it's less than 10, then uh, you're not, if it dies, you're not high because that's very unusual. But if it gets injured, you're high. So Amarav, so now very uh, uh, important thing. So Amarav, by the way, all these cases of uh, the your boar is uh, the five, it means because let's say the hevel, let's say these uh, foul odors that come out that I don't know cause damage, right? So a foul odor coming from a pit, that's what we're not talking about falling into the pit. And smacking it hitting the ground. Why? Alma, Sover, Chavata, Karka, Elamu, the Mazika Lake, right? It's the land that's causing injury. I don't own the ground, right? The ground is just a rabbit. I don't own the ground. So therefore, the ground caused the injury. Yeah, I tripped, led up to it, but the ground, the Maisa was the Makapatish. And therefore, says Rab, your putter from what he hit the ground that injures you. We're talking about the the have all the foul odors. Yeah, one could be damaged, right? Yeah, it, 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 it slow down or whatever it is because of the foul odors. Shmuel Omar, right, gets a little better. Shmuel Omar, the have love a culture in the Chavat. So, no, 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 yeah, foul odors, yeah, that's also damaged, but certainly falling to the ground, you're a chai for it. Right? And if you want to say maybe that only the Torah said uh, that for, for smack and hitting the ground, then you're high, but not for the Havel, right? says any sort of pit that causes damage. Now, let's say you have a pit that's dog is filled with cotton, right? So you fall in, you're not going to get injured. So what kind of damage could that cause, right? And it says any bore, even if it's filled, or it's filled with you know, uh, um, you know cotton, and you're not going to get hurt. So what was? How can that cause damage? It causes damage through foul odors, right? Because that goes determine what the damage would be based on foul odor. Uh, I, I don't know. Maybe uh, there's plants and it kills his plants, or maybe I don't know. His animal can't, uh, you know, get sick or something. I don't know. Yep. Fine. So my benayu. So what's the difference? You Let's say you make a mound. That's ten tzachim. Shus a rab. La rab according to rab. I go below. So from something which is tall. No, because rab says you're only high for. Uh, you're not high for falling if you walk up the mound and fall down, right? You're only because the ground injures you, you only five for foul odors. There's no foul odors, head fuck them up. It's only into the ground. That's where the odors are. That's where the sewage or whatever it is, that's where the, the you know the, the sulfur and all that smells, right? So therefore the machine, according to Shmuel, where if you fall and the impact that you're injured, so you are high for that. So the Shmuel, go ahead, Nami Mikhail. So my time there, what's we call the Ram Dabar Khan the Buzzik says, Venuffal and Shiipo Nerech Nafil. So this until you fall, they basically head first where the fumes are the strongest derech nafila. Therefore, it's coming to tell you that through, from the fumes, uh, then from the chelo, the, 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 the one is chayev, right? And the Shmuel, and according to uh, uh, Shmuel, nafo kol de humashva, right? It says nafo fall anyway, whether it's the hevel, whether it's the fumes, or even the the, the, the impact, you are chayev. Now, in Cain Laman and my bore, that's the case. Why say bore? So my bore, Sheshbo Kadeva Hamas, the Sartaka, just like a pit, has to be sufficient to kill, which is Ted Fakham. Of course, Sheshbo Kadeva Hamas, the Sartaka, so to anything that is false, it has to be Ted Fakham. So Bishlam, the Shmuel, I understand, the Shmuel, Afkol, right? The word Afkol, La Suye, Goba, right? When it says Afkol, it usually comes to include something. So what does it come to include? Not only a pit. But even something, it was ten tefachim up that it falls down. Then you be chayiv for el the rab. But according to rab, where it's only a pit, because we're talking about hevel. Af kol lasuye mai. What does that come to include? So lasuye charitziv and aitzin charitz. All right. So this is now to to include the other cases, right? Like these uh, squared pits or the 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 pits that are more like uh cut like wedges. I've an aitzin charitziv and aitzin. Well, you, you, you make a mound of ten tefachim, and let's say it's like a ramp up to the mound, right? So the animal walks up, and then it just falls off the end of the cliff. Right. Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. So the car, right, because it's on top, and a fall. There's a fall. 
So according to Shmuel, you're chayiv for impact, even if I don't own the ground. According to Rav, you're chayiv for fumes. No fumes. The word says, "That's a chavis of an eitz." The head of Tanimu. Those are in the famous. It says it in the Mishnah. So Tanimu the Mefarish. So it says it, and then it explains it. So Bahani Kulu the Tani Lamli. Why do you need all them? So it's really we need all these cases. Now let's describe them. The Tana Bor. If it was Bor, have a mina Bor Asara who the East Bay. Maybe only it was a tenth fuck of Bor that one is Chai for the Bisa Habela Meshu the Katin and the Kricha right because it's it's long, it's round and circular, and therefore the fumes are strong that way. Avasia. Right, suddenly the arich, which is much longer, siak, which is a longer ditch, right? Maybe I would say that since it's long, right, there, there is no strong hevel to go ahead and kill, right? This is according to Rat. Vitana siak, and if it just said, therefore, yes, siak, vitana, therefore, it has it right. Vitana siak, having over the thought, siak, asar, with the east, behavela. The reason why is siak, if it's tenth of uh, deep, has foul odor, is mishum de cotton, right? Because there, right, it's very narrow. And it comes out strong about Mara, uh, the Marav, but one that's squared off. Aim of Asar, let's be Havel. Even if say if it's 10, there is no Havel because it's squared off. It's not narrow. Vitana Mara, if it was just Mara, right? Some sort of like vault, right? Havamina, Mara, be Asar, who the East be Havel, and Mashun, the Matala, right? Because it's like covered. In other words, it goes up and it's covered and then it's like opening on top. So since it's covered, so the foul odor is very strong there. The Charitzin, or these other uh, uh, wedge like ditches, the delay metabolism, right, that are not covered. Aim of the Asar, less we have a unit there, 10th fucking deep. I would say that maybe there is no heaven there. Vita, so therefore, that's right. Charitzin, Vita, and Charitzin, have a mean, I would have thought Charitzin, Asar, who the East Bay have a lot of shoe. The last bill of Vachamil Ale. It's vague because it doesn't get wider on top. Mithas, I from the bottom of all Naitzin. But these Naitzin, these other types of uh, 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 ditches, right, that are, 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 I guess, that, that you know, that go out, right, so they wedged, right, on the Naitzin, the Ravichim Ileel, Tzfei Mithasai, in other words, they, they're opening as, as wider on top than is on bottom. Ema biasar lesbu havela. Maybe I'd say there is no havela, there is no foul odor from the bottom because it's, you know, wide on top, Kamash Lan, but all these cases, as long as it's 10 Tzvachim deep, there is a foul odor. Fine. So Tanan, how you pay him as her tvach in Vinaf al Saika Shurakham or Mace Potter. So let's take a look at Mishra. Mishra says if he goes ahead and he opens up a pit and, and the animal falls inside it and dies, he's potter because it was less than ten. Bim Huzak, but it was it was injured, then Chaif. The Nafal Saiko uh Vim Huzak Bah Chaif. So Nafal Saiko Shurakham or Mace Potter. My time was the reason. La Mishum the less like Chavato. Right, because when you fall from seven tefachim, it's not a, a diable. Mm-hmm. You know, you, you don't get injured. Right. Mm-hmm. So, as a lot of the less be So, and therefore, so we see mm-hmm. that. Um, uh, so, in, so, in this case, we see that there is something less than uh, ten. Right. Then uh, it doesn't count then. Right. So, right. So he's potter. So in other words, why is he potter? Because oh, it was because we see they don't die there. So we see. Uh, maybe because you can't die from less than that. So no, we shouldn't do less like havol, right? No, because you know, if you're talking about that, uh, you'd be high for a case of falling. But we see that you know that falling, that falling had it been big enough, you would have been high for. But if it's something less, if it was only um, uh, something that less than ten, you would not be killed for. Therefore, that's the reason why you're potter. So we see that's clearly from falling. So Gemar says, no, Meshum de Lesle Havel, right? But no, because there is no Havel over there. That's why there's no, we're talking about foul odors there. See, Haki, if that's the case, Im Huzak Bo Chayiv, I understand if he said if he's damaged by his Chayiv, Halase Havel, but you just said there's no Havel. Somebody says, ain't Havel Lamisa, Vyesh Havel and Azika. No, no. The same way, like the fall is injurable, but it's not, you wouldn't kill it. So too with the Havel, if it's less than 10, right, that there is not enough foul odor to kill you, but there is enough foul odor to cause damage. And I would tell enough Larissa to the light. There was a certain uh, shore that ox had fell into a pit that was an ama deep, right, which is uh, six tfachim, less than ten, right, so same case, uh, the light. and shach de mare, uh, so is, uh, the owner, it didn't get out, so the, the you know, so the owner shach it quickly before they could check it, so nevertheless, Tarfei Rav Nachman. Rav Nachman said the animal fell down, six, probably a uh, t- t- took a, a mortal injury, and therefore the animal's a trefa and the meat is no good. So, and Abba Rav Nachman, Rav Nachman said, by the way, Ishakil Mare Dehai Tara Kava the Kimcha, this guy, this, this cheap owner, right, of the animal, if he would have just, you know, taken the one small uh, Kav, a flower, and use that basically to pay his fee. And go to the base medrash 
and pay someone to teach him halacha, Imshasa, and what's that luck? Imshasa miyes leis kshera. That a person goes and an animal falls. We don't know if it's a trefa or not. So we say only the first twenty four hours is assumed to be a trefa. If it doesn't die within twenty four hours, we assume that the animal's fine. So this guy learned the halacha. He shouldn't have shechted it right away. He should have waited twenty four hours and shechted it afterwards. So he he didn't spend a dollar to learn that halacha. He could have saved himself two hundred dollars worth of meat, right? So lafsei latora the shavik kama kavi. Right, and therefore he would have spent this amount. Uh, you know, he, he would have been able to, uh, you know, to save all this money on the shore. So Alma, what do you see here? So Rav Nachman, Yesh Chavat Bachas Miasar. So you see over here, there are Nachman holds that there is injury, right? Let you know, it could be a mortal injury, even something less than ten. So Yesh Chavat Bachas Miasar. Rav Nachman, Rav Ezra Kasher, Rav Nachman, Zayi Bechus Yemiasar Tefach Yemen Avol Asayich Hashar. So let's look at a mission. You go ahead and he fell from something which is less than ten, uh, from less than ten Tefachim. My time, the less be There is no chavata there. So why wouldn't this case be different? It says, low. We shouldn't the less lay havol. No, we said over here because that over here there's now there's no followed or less than ten, but there could be death. See, hachi, who's a gvachayim? How less lay havel? I understand. We're talking about that. If it causes damage, so why do we damage? There's no havel at all. Summer lay in in havel misa. No, no, there is no havel when it comes to misa. However, v'yesh havel in azikim, but there is havel. When it comes to uh, uh, the damage, all right, we'll stop here. Sunday, Mitzvah We will continue uh, to blood the long. Let's see if we get any short ones. All right, oh, all right. we'll see you uh, Sunday, Mitzvah Shem. Everyone have an easy fast.